What we'll do here in this demonstration video is uh, show you some of the basic descriptive statistics that Easy, Easy Analyze can generate for you. I'm using Excel 2003 here. Um, the process is the same and it looks the same in all of the Apple versions of Excel and in Excel 97 and later on the PC. Excel 2007 looks a little bit different and um, I will show you that a little bit later in this video. So to get started um, doing some analyses with Easy Analyze, basically all we need to do is go into the Easy Analyze menu and pick our analysis. What we'll do here is we're going to show you how to use the percentages function. So we select that. Um, in the percentages dialog box, we simply need to select all the variables that we want to include in the analysis. Um, you don't need to hold the control key down to do this. You just click on each one to select it, and it will be included in the analysis. When you're happy with uh, all the variables that you've selected, click OK. And when you click OK, it creates this results report, which gives us all of the, in, all of the uh, results for all the variables that we selected for this percentages analysis. Uh, we'll see here, for example, for grade level, we had students in grades 9, 10, 11, and 12 participate in this. The frequency is the number of students that were in 9th grade, 10th grade, 11th grade, and 12th grade. The percent is just the percent of the total for each grade level. Valid percent is the same as this percent column if you do not have any missing data. And the cumulative percent is simply um, how many people were in, for example, 11th grade or lower. 87% of the sample was in 11th grade, 10th grade, or 9th grade. That's what the cumulative percent column does for us. And it's going to do this for every single variable that we selected for our analysis. Okay. Um, here we have somebody did not answer this question about whether or not they were in a gifted class. That data cell was blank in the Excel sheet. And it shows up here in our results report for percentages as missing. That's one person and that was just about 1% of the sample. So you'll see here 1% of the sample did not answer the question. About 91% said that they had never taken a gifted class and about 8% said they did take one. Now the valid percent is just the percentages not including the number of people that didn't answer the question that were listed as missing. Okay, So um, that's it for percentages. You'll notice here that Easy Analyze created a new sheet down here. The sheet will stay here unless you delete it or if you close this Excel file without, cha without saving changes uh, you'll lose this results report then as well. But um, when you're ready to do another analysis we simply click back on our main data sheet and we go back into our menu. So here we'll calculate some descriptive statistics for some variables. Um, variables that we have here that make sense for calculating descriptive statistics for are our um, days absent and our GPA or grade total variables. Here are all the different descriptive statistics you can choose from. We'll select them all here by clicking on this button. When we click OK, our results report is created again in a new sheet. For each variable we selected we will get all of, this, all of the different descriptive statistics that we selected from there. So here we have um, mean, median, mode, standard deviation, range, minimum, and maximum values, and the sum, again, for each variable. If we had more variables, they would just go out this way to the right. Um, something that's included, if you don't select anything in that analysis even, is the end valid and end missing. And missing, again, just like with percentages, is uh, the number of people who didn't answer that question or where there were no data. That will be reflected here in this end missing column. All right, so now that we're done with our descriptive statistics, we'll click back on our main data sheet. And if we wanted to continue going through the, some other analyses, uh, again, we just select them here from this column. But those other analyses are in other videos.